You see, to many of us, Rittenhouse, he represents the ultimate of white privilege. How in the world can you kill two folks and maim another with three shootings and the police walk right by you? I get it, man. That was, I mean, that was some of the most bizarre shit that we have ever captured on camera. But that don't make the boy guilty. Matter of fact, that makes this country guilty. That makes the, the United States military guilty that rolled right by him. That makes the local authorities there in Kenosha guilty for rolling right by him. If he would have been black, he probably would have been murdered. He wouldn't have been detained. That makes this criminal justice system guilty. But that boy Kyle Rittenhouse ain't guilty of murder. I don't know how you're guilty of murder when you're being attacked. He killed two people and maimed one. But each time that boy fired that damn rifle, he was being attacked. I mean, I don't understand why we missed that. Or maybe as black folk, I mean, we just want condemnation on anything opposite of us at times because of how we keep getting butt screwed from the criminal justice system. I get that part. But the funny thing about us black folk, truth be told, let Kyle Rittenhouse, what if he would have been a black 17-year-old, still with the assault rifle, and was being chased by white folks? You all would be hollering self-defense. There's no doubt in my mind you would be hollering self-defense. The first gentleman who was killed truly created a domino effect of carnage. Arguing with the Joker with an assault rifle, I'm going to cut your fucking heart out. Chasing a joker with an assault rifle, throwing a liquid that some say was flammable, and then he gets popped. And from that shooting starts the domino and chain reaction of carnage because people naturally didn't have all the details of what was going on. So they started yelling, hey, that boy shot somebody. And then the cavalry, the gang, the mob who thought that they were doing something righteous, then attacked this boy from behind. Not to mention shots being fired prior to the first shooting. I just don't see this the same way you guys do. And I know what stirs our soul is when Rittenhouse throws his hands up and walks toward members of the military, members of police, and he just walks right on by now, that is the most disturbing part. But you know something about that? Rittenhouse did exactly what he was supposed to do after being involved in that type of shooting. He literally was trying to surrender. Now, his white privilege kicked in at that point because, again, the authorities just whisked right on by. That's the upsetting part. That's why we want Rittenhouse condemned.